Hey guys and welcome to my channel. So I know that I haven't posted up in a while. Um, I've been super busy and then I just lost all motivation to make any YouTube videos. Um, so I am definitely 100% back now. I know I said that before but I am because when I did say that I was back I didn't have the free time. But now I do actually so I am 100% determined to do these videos um, if it kills me. If, even if they make like four or five videos a day I will do it. Um, and then just do it, pump them out whenever on YouTube. Um, so yes, I'm in my pajamas today because I am chilling out. Um, I got my shower and then um, I just decided, no, I'm not going anywhere today. I'll just get back into my pajamas and chill out because I'm going on holiday tomorrow for my partner's 30th. So I cannot wait for that. So back to the task at hand. Uh, this is my new subscription box. Um, it is a witchy subscription box from Freya's Cauldron. I was recommended it on um, a form that I'm on. Um, I will put the name of the form in the link um, below, um, in the description box below actually, uh, if you're interested in joining it, if you haven't already joined it. So brand new, obviously I've already opened it to make sure that there's nothing broke or nothing missing or anything like that. So obviously first up um, on it you have the little list of what is in it um, in the December box and obviously most of the December box is probably going to do with Yule because Yule is up in a couple of weeks time um, which is my first time celebrating it I'm actually doing like celebrations for it so I'm super super excited so I am so the first one on the list is the cast iron cauldron and I already have one of these I ordered it a few weeks ago um, and because I only started I wanted to do all my research before I actually made a, an altar up and I say I got one and my one has the Triple Moon Goddess uh, decoration on it. Um, I'm not, uh, uh, just quickly to Cauldron earlier and I want to see, I, I didn't actually see the design on it. Um, so I want to see if it's the same one or if it's a different one. Um, so charcoal discs and tongs which you can put in your cauldron and um, burn obviously. Um, you can put some incense on it maybe. Um, of the tongs to actually use it. Um, frankincense uh, resin. I'm hoping I pronounced that right. I love frankincense. One of my favorite um, smells. So it is. It lavender, obviously myrrh down here, and jasmine and such. Um, yang lang oil. Love them. Um, myrrh oil. Um, it's a fragrance that's associated with, associated, sorry, with uh, yule along with frankincense. Um. So apparently if you mix the two of them together it makes some amazing um amazing smells and works with um different spells and such. Uh, next up we have our spell candles which is red, white and green. Um usually people put these in a the Yule log and burn them on their altar. Unfortunately this year I don't have a Yule log. Maybe next year. Um obviously these are the colours that are associated with Yule fest um festivities and obviously any ritual work that you're going to be doing for you and it says a little bit what each one is associated sort of with so next up we have our herbs which is plantain cloves and rosemary leaf and there's a little information sheet on the other side which i'll show you here pink opal gemstone blessed bee pendant guatemalan worry dolls spell kit which is obviously a yule spell kit um obviously being yule and then we have a few extras like bath bombs and sheets and such of other um sort of thing that are good for putting into um your book of shadows if you have one if you're into this sort of thing um so that's that one so here's your plantain, your clothes, and your rosemary leaf. Um, what they're associated with, like the planet, the element, the deities, um, your the powers, and any magical use. What to use them sort of for, which is really, really good and really handy to put in your big shadows, along with obviously any other um, herbs that you usually use. Then we have our Yule ritual, which is here. I'm not going to read it. Um, show it here. Um, it's really good, really good information. Um, I say it's my first time celebrating, so any information I can get from now till it comes, it's really good. So this is the cleansing, um, how to cleanse and constitute your tools, like your wand, your athen, your whatever it is that you use. 
Um, I'm not going to read this, but this is just general what you sort of should be doing. Then we have, let me see, we have a 12 year old um, sachet, so basically you can use this and then obviously put it um, on your altar. Obviously I don't have all of these, I have like two or three of them, so I need to get them. And if I don't get them this year, obviously there is still next year. And then obviously a little thank you card from the owners. Then we have a little Wicca card with a cat and some... Why can I not think of them? Tarot cards. And <laughs> and obviously a little pendulum as well. It's such a cute little card. Unfortunately I have no one to give this to so I can't just use it as artwork. So opening up, um, sorry, opening up, um, we'll see our first little, first two things which is the Blessed Bee Pendant Pink Opal and the Guatemalan Worry Dolls. So we'll start off with the pendant. Now unfortunately I can't wear metal around my neck, it's just a sort of thing that I have. I prefer like little um, ribbons and such. So um, if you can see it, I don't know if you can see it or not, there we go. Um, I just put it on some of the ribbon that I have and put it that way. And then a pink opal stone which will go with the rest of the crystals, obviously it needs cleansing and such. Um, there's not enough, another filament unfortunately to um, generate so um, we'll see what we can get. Let's see how hard we'll have to probably wait. But anyway, sorry. Um, Guatemala Boy Dolls. I've never heard of these. I didn't actually open it up. I just... Um, so... What do you do with these? Let's see. Uh, apparently, um, if you tell them you're worried and you put them under the pillow, um, oh, there's a lot in here. Uh, you did all usually by morning has your worry away. So whatever you worried about. So as you can see, they're super tiny, but they're quite cute. And I do have a lot of worries. <laughs> so um, yeah, I'll probably be, be using these quite a quite a bit um <laughs> so that's those put that back in the bag so here we go here's a little thing the rest of the stuff so i'll take this out so this is a yule fire spell obviously i'm not i'm not going to open it up and um read it out so i'm, not, I'm just going to leave it the way it is but to have some bay leaves and then we'll have your red candle oh then we have our other candles, obviously our red, green and white candles. And then we have wax melts. So I'm really excited. I actually do have a wax warmer. And mm, they smell absolutely amazing. So they do. They really, really do. So it's just here. So I think these are bath bombs. And I like a little sachet bag that they've come in. And then our tongs for the charcoal um, discs, which I think. Yep, they're over here, as you can see. And then we have our re resins, our frankincense resins, um, which are cool. What's this? We have our myrrh oil. Excuse me. And then we have our herbs. Here's our raspberry leaf. And then we have our plantain one. Let's see. And then we have our clothes. Let's see anything else. Oh, yep, yeah, we do. And we have a little magnet, which I'm still closeted, so um, unfortunately I can't show all these around the house. But it's obviously park your brooms at, um, at the door. Um, it's such a cool little magnet, so I will find a place for it. So here is our cauldron. It says, um, obviously, I already have one of these. So, opening it up, you can see that it's quite a good size. So you can, and a little pentagram on it, on either side. And then, obviously, there's the lid for it. So it is. So I don't think there's anything else in the box. No, there's nothing else in the box. So that's pretty much it. So I'm hoping you enjoyed this video. Again, obviously, I'm going to be probably making like a little travel video, maybe, um, when I go down to Kilkenny. Um, hopefully if we do things because there is a massive reptile zoo and I don't know if you can see him or not there's a bit of a mess at the minute but um, 
yeah, you can just about see him because my partner says if we go to the reptile zoo, then um, obviously <laughs> we're gonna um, probably come home with another reptile, which uh, probably won't happen. But um, anyway, uh, so yeah, I mean, I mean, if we can make a travel video about Kilkenny, it'll, it'll be brilliant. If not, um, then probably the next video I'll be doing is my altar video, um, which. Uh, we'll be celebrating the Yule Festival, which I'll be sharing with um, you. So until then, um, I shall see you all at my next video.